We did a no brake challenge and Bruce did the scariest thing I've seen in a long time. <laughs> <That was cool. laughs> Today we're out on the e-bikes, the Evo brakes. It's a little humbling sometimes, they're half my age. And World Cup downhill. E-bikes, downhill racing. Faster, rougher, bigger tracks are the evolution of mountain biking. So, we followed suit. Who are you? I'm Lames Luke Smitty. I'm riding with my two pals. Bruce Klein. Ba 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 Bruce. AG. Sorry, we have a we have a third pal too. Ball and Colin <laughs> out here doing <laughs> TRP R and D test engineer. Testing is where we found our grounding. Colin, our R&D forefront, has spent countless hours collecting data with all of our global athletes in real-world scenarios, then translating it into more stopping power. Every rider has their own style, and everybody has their own braking. Part of that was trying to quantify some of that. Okay. <laughs> Wrist prep. Yeah. If you ain't slowing down, you ain't going fast. Can't go fast if you can't slow down. Yeah. You don't have to slow down if you're not going fast. We call that the friction coefficient. Yeah. That's a $10 word right there. Yeah. What I kind of brought in was I started taking temperature readings of different riders, their calipers and their rotors, just seeing how they break on the same course. It's a 24-7 development thing, which you kind of need to keep the pace of how fast we're trying to catch up to the changing dynamics of racing to get in front of it, to now going into the season after winter testing with these teams. It all started with Nico Malale. He wanted a bit more kick for the evolved World Cup tracks, so he put the prototype e-bike brakes on his downhill bike back in 2018. Got wind of the 2.3s, just decided to try them and immediately liked the difference. That kind of kicked off the evolution. Are you guys running different oil than last year too? Yeah, everything's new. Cool. Pads are new, oil's new, levers new. After two years, a global team of engineers, an overflowing amount of data from world-class athletes and mechanics, five renditions, new hose, new plumbing, new rotors. The bigger rotors coming out help dissipate heat. A new surface grind, a new pad compound, and new ergonomic levers. We looked at every angle to give the brake more modulated, consistent power with little to no brake fade. Really, all you need to know is... Better performance, better feel. They do make me happy. Once you go from the old brake to the current brake, you just exert a lot less energy when you're riding. I remember having certain braking spots for trails I knew really well, and I felt like I was barely moving into the corner of the section I was braking for with the new brakes. And I liked them a lot. How much brakes? Get a brake check, check of a brake check, good check brakes. <laughs> Four the grand. I'm just thinking about checking. Oh yeah, that's hard to see. I'll say that could be the challenge, see if we could hit this corner with no brakes from the top. Make sure there's no civilians around. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, no way! <laughs> Don't kill yourself, Bruce. <laughs> so that was a little terrifying. I, I barely touched it. <laughs> I puckered up. I was trying to get high up too, like try and break that wind. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> Dude, I, I G'd out so hard my visor pushed down <laughs> in my face. No break challenge. Take three. 
<laughs> Did you get it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you see my scooter moves or my BMX moves at the top? <laughs> Scrub speed. <laughs> Oh, visor's up, jersey's untucked. <laughs> the wide line's the ticket. Yeah, the wide line's what's up. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! Bruce is gonna was, uh... pull through with a loose moment. <laughs> Small double double when you went up. I'm like, that's pretty big. 50 50 that. I stretched my bike out about four inches. <laughs> oh, he's pedaling again. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, I'm just, that's impressive. <laughs> Breaking limits. Brakes work. I know, they do. You'd stop like right on the counter. You can stop right. <laughs> oh. That was a sad no-hander. Because you have the performance, but once you get them set up, you pretty much never touch them. It doesn't matter if it's hot like today or it's a World Cup race from Switzerland in the mountains with pouring rain. Like, your stuff just always works. Put them on the bike, cut the lines, bleed them once, get them set up, and you're off. You go. And as a mechanic and anybody with a little bit of OCD, you spin your wheel and you look down in your caliper, you see daylight on both sides and that rotor is straight as an arrow, it's a good feeling. And then it's like, okay, what can we do next to, to keep it going? You know, we got a lot of stuff moving forward, a lot of irons in the fire. Working around the world, day in and day out, we are pushing our limits only to break them. The thing about evolution, it never stops.